Hey y'all, today I'm going to be teaching you how to put real tile in your camper or your horse trailer. Either one will work. I started out with this um, waterproof tile mat right here that I bought at Lowe's. And you basically just roll it on the wall. I have a J roller right there that I'm using um, to basically make sure that the mat is fully adhered to the wall. Now when you apply this, you basically just put it on the wall and roll it down and use a razor blade to cut off the edge and then just roll it down really good. After you've made sure that that's secure to the wall, you can go ahead and uh, cut your first edge for your tile and start laying your tile down. You basically just peel the adhesive side off of the back of the tile mat and then the tiles will stick straight to it. Now this next minute or two of this video is basically gonna be me applying the tile. So I wanna say a few things. If you can tell, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of spacers there. And I will fully disclose that I actually tiled this wall once before already, and then I tore it all off because I didn't use enough spacers. Um, once the tile is on the mat, it will not come off. So use all the spacers, all of them. You're gonna need a lot. Basically put a spacer in every single place that you can and it's going to help ensure that when that tile is fully seated on the mat, um, it's going to be in the right position because it's really hard to maneuver it once it's already stuck down. Now, before I laid the tile on the mat, if you noticed, I put spacers between the tiles when it was in a full sheet and it kind of just helps get it in the relative position. So don't try to put the whole thing up there and then put your spacers in because you're not gonna be able to move that tile once it's already on. And as you can see right here, I have all the spacers. Once you've got a few of these sections on and they're straight and they're level, it's gonna be a whole lot easier to just keep moving across the whole wall. And you're basically just gonna finish off the wall. Sometimes, as you can see in this section, um, I kind of cut them away from the sheet and kind of pieced it together around the outlet right there and that's totally fine it worked and my spacing was great so if you need to cut the tiles away from the sheets then you can definitely do that too and this just shows how i cut the tiles around the outlets and you can just use a normal tile saw for that now that you've got all of your tiles on and they're good and adhered, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove your spacers. That is the grout that I use and you can buy that at Lowe's. Now with this type of flexible grout, uh, they recommend using a hard rubber float. So definitely make sure that you use that. And I basically just uh, apply the grout kind of in a diagonal pattern working in small sections. And then I use a sponge. Um, the grout actually came with a sponge, which was pretty cool. Uh, and you wipe up and down in a diagonal section. Um, and then you basically just repeat the whole process until uh, you have gone all the way to the other side of your wall. And your finished result is going to look something like this. Like and subscribe for more.